Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17. We're in Goldcrest Valley, sitting in our original tractor for this series, the Case 1455. And I've been sitting here trying to figure out what is our highest priority right now. We're kind of waiting for the oil seed radish up here to, to get done. And it's got a ways to go. Maybe by the next morning, you know, game day that'll be ready and we'll be able to plow that in. In fact, speaking of plowing, I was just watching uh, Murphy Plays. He put up a, his first farming simulator video. He's going to do a, looks like a series of tutorials that uh, first one's talking about plowing. And remember when we were plowing 23 last episode, or were we plowing it then or was that the previous one? Were we just planting and anyway, last episode or two, I wouldn't been in Canada, so I've been releasing things that I recorded long ago, or a week ago, so now I'm trying to think back what I did in what order. Um, it was leaving, not only was it plowing all the way into 22 to get to uh, you know, to the ends here, but it was leaving a little triangle, so I had to go back and, and cut across to clean up. And he had mentioned in his tutorial video that if we had cleaned up the headland first over here, so if the AI had lots of room to make that turn, it would have started properly and cleaned up all the way to the edges as it went. So up in here, let's test that. Let's let's see if that if that uh, works that way. I, it sounds right. So I'm curious because we're going to hit rocks right about here. I know that, and I don't remember how quickly we hit trees down in this area. So if we were to take out two to three passes at the ends manually and then turn the AI loose to see what he does with that big plow. And that's really the big issue is, is the big plow. Um, shop, let's see, plows right there. These guys work great because they lift up, they stay suspended, and they'll flip over, and you can, you can make these work no matter what. They're great little plows, but they're little, three meters. We've got this one. I didn't want to get into this one even though that's a nice six meters uh, width and, and uh, you don't have to go over it 10,000 times in a field before you're done. So, but but it's so long, I figured there'd be no way to, to deal with it on this map. There just isn't enough room to turn it around. This was pushing it. This works great, but it does take a lot more paths through to do it. I'd be curious to see if we can take this guy out on field three, take off two to three headlands on each end, and see what it can do and if it does a good job. So that's a test we're going to do when we get there. Maybe next episode, maybe no matter what we do this time, I'll advance time in between this and next one to get to the next morning and see if we're ready to plow that in. Um, otherwise, I was doing what? Back to here, trying to figure out what to work on right now. And I got to noticing down here, field 24. We own 9 and 13. We own 3. We're thinking about 4. And we own, of course, our core group right here, and these two down here. That's where the corn just went in. 24 was where I was when I stopped recording back in February, I think, when I realized just how much of a hit my business had taken by me spending so much time making YouTube videos instead of spending the extra time working at my business. So I kind of pretty much shut down for most of the last six months, except for sporadic episodes here and there. But right when I shut this down, 24 was where we bought the Coon Pack. We went through all of this with a lot of Coon equipment. And I think it was this one that we hooked up the cultivator and plow and sower. I thought, I don't know, I'm not sure. But we, we sandwiched three pieces of equipment together and ran it back and forth and did all this at once. But somehow through all of that, we missed fertilizing. So right now, we've got barley in there, which is brown. And it is at what stage? Kind of like right there, I want to say. So it's probably time to get some fertilizer on that. So I think that's where we're going to start. Then another item on my bucket list before we end Goldcrest Valley is I want to get into the greenhouses. I want to show how all those work. They require, at least they did for... Farming Simulator 13 and 15, where I've got most of my time into into the game, uh, water and manure. I don't know if there's anything that's been added to that or not. But manure, we cannot buy. We, can, we have to make it. 
and that's coming out of the cattle and it could also come out of the pigs which we want to get soon which is why we're making although do we not already have some potatoes or I guess I was already there right here none so we got no potatoes and no sugar beets to do pigs properly we need some potatoes and sugar beets to fill this column in hmm though so it will it will work just not at a hundred percent productivity without it as long as we have something there if we have some corn in there we will will do it or some wheat and barley the idea is to get some of all of these into there huh I guess we could get pigs coming now and just spend our time filling this up I was gonna say let's get the greenhouses in and then figure out where we're gonna get the manure later whether we're gonna we're gonna fill up a tipper and drive that across and dump it to wherever the greenhouses are going to be so the question was where were they going to be and I don't remember where there's a lot of extra space down around here it'd be nice to have it somewhere near I keep seeing these dandelion seeds going across my screen um, I don't remember there being a lot of extra space down in here and you'd you'd want it somewhere near the manure because every day or two you want to go in and look at the levels and top them off by the pigs it seems like field seven had a lot of space around it uh, down in here off to the side over here this just might be a good field to get a hold of for the extra room we thought about buying that long ago because we could grass this area out take the trees out and a lot of of grassy fields for mowing lawns or mowing the grass and getting uh, uh, silage production going so we'd have 11 basically for silage and this area over here as well silage dumps right here so that's kind of convenient we could though grab seven and do one of the last things on the bucket list plant poplars so we can do a poplar harvest and see where that's all about which I believe gets sold at the sawmill which is over here so that's not a long trip down the road either so that kind of works right in there so I think we're gonna pick up seven greenhouse around it plant poplars buy pigs fill up the food that we've got plant the potatoes eventually the potatoes top off the food we've also got to get into the cattle soon and get all this topped off and cleaned up I see the cleanliness on the sheep are, are bad again sheep are messy so yeah there's kind of the layout of the next uh, three or four episodes so what today let's fertilize 24 spray it and maybe go pick up some pigs yeah, that's a possibility okay well whatever we're gonna do let's get doing it oh there's that tractor back there yeah it'd be better if I was in cab then I could have seen what we were doing let's stay in cab for a while all right seems like we picked up a big sprayer when we bought the coon equipment long ago well long ago for me 10 episodes ago for the series oops past it this guy right here yeah that would probably do this field in two passes not a big field where am I going there's my center point let's kick it out a little bit and then bring it in a little bit of an angle like so All right, um, 2,500 liters, that should be more than enough. Let's head out over there. Nobody on our private road here. I'll have to see just how wide this thing opens. It's been a while since I've used it. it feels too quiet. I'll turn my volume up a little. I don't record with headphones so I've got to be careful about how loud my speakers are though my microphone doesn't pick it all up but this is a game you want to play with the uh, the, the volume turned up and the the woofer the subwoofer cranked you want the rumble of the equipment all around you back soon um, 
real soon, a couple of months. They're talking about releasing the, uh, uh, how would you describe it? I, I think I put a tweet or two out on it uh, months ago, as well as a note on my Facebook page. But there's a device that either is out or is coming out that has several spray canisters in it that as you start doing certain things in the game, it'll give a spray in the air of that scent. So scent of a cattle farm, scent of freshly tilled dirt when you're plowing, scent of maybe mowed grass, those sort of things. So that sounds really interesting. It sounds really expensive too, but still, see, I'm gonna try to turn this this way, like so, and get in a little bit more over to here. Hit the sign. Still too close. Okay. Well, let's let's see. Crank it this way. Back. Let's take this a lot further over. Not like that. Now where are we at? That's closer. Yep, I'm going to go with that. Okay, so I'm thinking hold the left mouse button and, sh and slide up and down. There we go. I'm going to get that down closer to plant height so you're not spraying so much in the air and losing it. Although we tip over here. That's close enough. All right, B, start, and floor it. Something like so. I have a feeling I've got to stay pretty close to this edge, although let's get a little closer than that. Yeah, that's good. I'm thinking two widths will do this, or at least it'll do 90-some percent of it. We'll call that good enough. So, well, it's been a while since this, this uh, version of the game came out. I'm trying to remember. No, I take it back. We're set to only one fertilizing. So, instead of three. When it was set for three fertilizings, each stage would give you, we'll say, 33% more yield. So, let's... I'm touching the ground, that's why I'm dragging. Okay, take that back up. And yeah, a little bit of a hill here. So I assume that we're going to double our yield by having it plowed and by... Uh, get over there. Yeah, something like that plowed and fully fertilized. Okay, we'll go with that. Yeah, there's going to be just a little tiny bit left over. And that'll be fine. So we're getting 98% of our 100% boost. That works for me. So, yeah, let's finish this, drive over to 7 and survey that, see what we think. And maybe pick up the pigs. I think you've pretty much got to have the pigs in place before you can feed them. Because it's going to register immediately that you already have too much food for the number of pigs you've got. Because you've got none. So we've got to get them in place. Though it's pretty forgiving as to how long they can go before their first... Uh, I don't think pigs can die put it that way if you don't feed them. You just don't get any productivity out of it. You don't get any... Any uh, new pigs, or, as well as all the, the manures and what have you. Fertilizers. All right, let's get him put away. We started at 25, ended with 2,200, so about 300 liters for that. Not bad. There we are. Whoa. I'm trying to scoop my pedals back up. They keep sliding out from under me. I'll have to do some more work with that steering wheel, figure out why my computer is no longer recognizing it. Something's gone wrong. To figure out why. All right. Yeah. See, if I was really there, I could lean over to the side and look around that, but I can't even see the concrete wall. 
So it's just not realistic enough for me to pull that off. No way of knowing if I'm how close I am. Alright, something like that. A little more. Okay. Well that's done. Let's I'm gonna have to put them away. We'll just set them right over here. It was a longer walk back to the pickup truck. Now, I think twice we've changed out the wheel pattern. Let's drive back over there and... see what the next wheel pattern looks like. Just for fun. There we are, here at a maintenance shed. That didn't work. <laughs> Alright, let's try R. That works. So, customize, we have done... That's design 3, apparently. Versus... 4. Yeah, it's not going to tell us what they are. Let's... Back... And back. Let's, let's take a look at these. Alright, so... Basically, 8 thick spokes. Let's see what, the, what 4 looks like. Hello. Hello. R is not working now. There we go. Customize. Let's go to four. And we'll take it to a whiter color. Customize. Yes. Alright, what's that look like? Okay, that's the different look. A different look. I'm so tempted to roll my mouse wheel forward to get down there and zoom in, but it's just going to pop out a chainsaw if I do. I can see the brakes through it. Yeah, that's a little different. Alright, anyway, enough playing around. Let's get out there to Field 7 and take a look at it. So we could get there from the back route right up there through the woods. Or we can just go around this hill. Which is maybe best done in side cab. Looking good. Now we own these two fields here. And we grassed out this triangle out here so we don't have to deal with it as far as, uh, as uh, the AI. Yep, that's uh, looks like canola. And that was sunflower over there. Alright, let's go back. Let's go take a look at the sunflower. Young sunflower plants are about half grown now. Yeah, I can kind of do this to see them. Yep, they're all aiming up. Let's see. Well, we're at 5 in the evening, though. I would thought they would have all been tipped to a side. West is... Sun setting over there. Yeah, so I thought these would be tipped out that way. Oh, well. So much for that plan. Let's get out here to field 7. And, uh... Let's see. Was there a cutout through there? Yeah. Well, it's hard to drive with a... A and D button. Oh, wait a minute, where am I? Did I miss it? Um, uh, I missed it. Let me pull that out a little further. Yep, I want. It's right between 13 and 9. So back to the sunflower plants to find our turn off. Great demand of Stanton Sawmill for wood chips. Okay. Hmm. Which doesn't do us any good because we don't have our poplar trees planted. That we can then shred up into, uh, the, what do you call it? Sawdust? I thought it would be wood chips. Yeah. Oh, sawmill. Wood chips. Okay. Anyway, 7 is right over here. Right? That's 8. Thought that looked odd. Let's get back in there. Cross the tracks. Alright, so this area up in here. See, so if we took all these trees out, 
if I can get to where I can see this better. If I were to pop into here and pull out all the way. That's our best view. That's as far as we go. So we have a lot of room in this triangle out front. We also have a lot of room around the pig farm. In fact, we could do that. We could just take the trees out around the pig farm and put greenhouses in there. But this would be a good place for the poplar trees, I'm thinking. And the sawmill's just down the road there. So I think that's a plan. And we've got the equipment to, uh, to harvest sunflowers. Ooh, wait a minute here. Sunflower 7, growth. It's ready to pop. Huh. Let's grab that. I think so. Let's drive over there. Who have we got here? We've got Farmer George Watson. Smell that? Smells like money, right? Well, it does if you've got the nose for it. How about I make this simple? 3400 and you fertilize that field for me. <laughs> he thinks he's going to take us. We're just going to give him 117000 Yeah, we took him. Anyway. <laughs> now, these guys are kind of leaning off to a side. And they're aiming at the sun for the most part. So these know what they're doing. We've got the smart sunflowers over here. Yeah. These will probably be ready to harvest at about the same time that the oil seed radish is ready to be plowed. So we could be working on both fields next episode or two. Hmm. Let's take a look at the sawmill. What's it offering? Wood chips are barn. Sawmill right there. That's wood chips. Okay. It's the only place we can sell it. Except for, I believe that there is a placeable we can drop on your property where you can sell it, but I think it, it gives you the same rate. So 455, what, per 1,000 liters maybe? That's probably what, what it is, yeah. Okay, um, doesn't really matter what we get for it, we just want the experience of having tried it. Okay, so we've now got this. Which means we need to get a... Well, we can just bring the equipment over just for this field. We don't need to, to leave it out here. I want to get up there and zoom out. Go back to the truck so I can zoom out. All right. So, yeah. We'll harvest that one theoretically next episode. For now, what? Bring in pigs or bring in greenhouses? I'm 20-some minutes into this. Let's go get pigs. And... Where's my road? Here? There it is. Let's take this through... I'm used to doing this from the outside. See, it feels so low inside here after driving the tractors. But let's drive this through the, uh, through the woods. There we go. Whoa! Oh, I wish I had the steering wheel. Alright, low road. Just stay to the side. There, there. Yeah, I feel like I'm just barely looking over the dashboard in this one. After having driven those tall tractors. Here's our back fields. That's canola. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> And we'll cut through here and park him. Um, probably grab the warrior. You can handle the weight of the stock trailer with some speed. Right there. And that's actually the head right there, the header for uh, dealing with the corn. So we'll use that one. Here's the warrior. I did give him a bath, though. You'd never know from how dirty the tires are just driving from there to here. 
but he's looking bright and shiny again. All right, stock trailer. Now the steering in the tractor is far less erratic than the pickup truck. I feel like I'm bouncing back and forth with each turn of the steering wheel here. It was a lot smoother, even without the, the, uh, the steering wheel. All right, that's the guy that I want right there. So, out a little. Great. And I missed the cue again. <laughs> there we go. Back in cab. All right, off to Mary's farm. Okay, everything's good back there. get there from that road. It must lead to a bridge. Yeah, bridge for this river here. And over here, there's no more river in the way, so we don't need a bridge. There we go. I like the sunroof. Well, I probably wouldn't like it in July with the sun beating down. Although that looks like looks like there's a little door that slides across it to close it off. Still about 2.7 million dollars to spend. Believe it or not, that's not going to last long. There's still a lot to pick up before we finish the series. I have no idea where I'm at. That'll do. All right. R pigs. And we want to buy nine of them. Okay, we can fit nine of them in here. That three thousand each, so twenty-seven thousand dollars there, and confirm, and confirm again, and no, oh, did need to confirm again. All right, in there they are. We got three different colors. Okay, a little bit of variety. Some of them are dirtier than others. <laughs> I wonder if we can take the uh, the pressure washer to them and clean them off too. <laughs> All right, let's take these back. Let's get two batches of them. Two trailers full. Although we could get, well, could get one right now, so we have enough time to uh, bring some feed and water over. Kind of like that. Now, where's the water? Seems like the water right now is at the cattle farm. Is that right? Yeah, we'll check that out in a bit. Right now I'm just wondering if I made the right turn. I think I did. Yeah, that works. Looking at my little mini map down there. Head over to that bridge. That uh, sandy area right over there is a good place to fill up the the water tank, water trailer. There's quite a bump on this bridge. I take it kind of slow. Really jostle the pigs around. Nope, oh, they did fine. Or is this the bump here? This is the bump. Bump, bump. Yeah. Where am I? Got to get around this field. I think this direction will work.
Yeah, that gets me in there. And our road is which one? Oh, we needed to go the other way. So I gotta take a right turn. And pigs are up in there. So I can actually go two or two lefts over there to the right. Okay. So it would have been better to have come out Mary's farm, the same place we went in. Just remember that next time. In the mirrors, no one behind us. Is that a car back there? Or is that. No, nope, that is a car back there. What am I seeing? That's him. I guess objects just look bigger in the mirror than they actually are. Feeling a little tired recording this episode, so I'm kind of quiet. Just got done watching Vapa's uh, live stream of Subnautica. For him, it was one in the morning, and he was yawning and feeling tired. And I think it uh, it rubbed off on me. <laughs> I was doing fine when I sat down to record this. Just as I was about to hit record, um, I want this one over here. I saw his tweet come up that he was doing a live stream, so I changed my plans to watch that, but I haven't recovered from it yet. <laughs> Alright, over the railroad tracks and take the dirt road to the pigs. Now, getting the food over here is going to be an interesting challenge. We could grab a front loader. Now, pigs go in over here. Oh, it's on the other side. I think. Could grab a front loader. Oh, it's right here. And bring a bucket over of each kind. I'm going for that side over there. Let's see what I can do in cab. That's looking pretty good. And now I'm starting to lose my perspective there. That's done pretty good right there. I'm within it, so I'm going to call that good enough. Alright, pigs. Unload. Got nine of them out there. Confirm. Yes. There they are. Actually, pop back in and do it this way. Can I? Kind of. There we go. Well, it goes back further than I thought. Okay. So we need to bring some straw over for their, their uh, bedding area. I need to put water over here. Nope, that's food. Water. I don't think it's within my camera range. Yeah. And then the manure will start showing up right here. And the liquid manure will pump out of here, I believe. Okay, water is... I got the back wall over there. Oh, there it is in the, the far corner. That's the water trough. Okay. So let's go put this all away. We hit out the through the, uh, through the back route. So we could bring a front loader scoop over here or we could fill a tipper. But you can only put one kind in a tipper and we've got several kinds of food to bring out. So we could hook a couple of tippers together and put a scoop of everything in, in each one. That might be one way to do it. Though we can't dump... Well, we kind of dump the tippers sideways. I guess that would do it. Kind of dump them on the ground, though, then bring the front loader over and scoop it up off the ground and pour it in. It's not a not an easy way to do it. I mean, you can't just walk out there and get a, a grain shovel and just you know toss them in. You gotta do it with big equipment. this guy. I'm done for now with it. Maybe off camera I'll go get another uh, load of pigs. I have to make that long trip twice. And 
Yeah, let's park it out this way. We should pull through, but we can do this. Let's see, this way. So what is the plan? How do we get... So the tractor we use is something that we want to have a front loader on. That's going to be important. This one does have the mounts for it. But it seemed like it was for a the bigger size. Boy, it's been months since I did all this. Did we put the smaller size over at the cow farm and left the bigger size over here? Can I use this tractor? That I don't remember. Let's hook up two of these. Bring them out. Which is a challenge. Well, not as much of a challenge. These aren't dollies. So yeah, this will be fairly easy. Alright. Q and not the tab. Just fill these two up, right? Actually, it's right here. Okay, let's go. Let's go around the block. And I need to refresh my memory of what kind we can use. I know one would be a wheat or barley. The other one would be a corn or, I guess, yeah, we'll see. Like so. All right, what did we need? Animals. We needed a corn which we do have right now. Uh, that was it there. Uh, that all of them? Yeah, corn. Well, look, there's corn. So we do have some. So we could grab that whole amount. That's only 5,000. And then, let's see, back to here. There we are. A corn, and then a wheat or barley, and then a canola, sunflower, or soy. Okay. Let's grab five of corn and five of wheat. All right. So this one, R, we want corn. There we are. And we'll take all of it. So five looks like that. All right. Pull forward. Right there. And R. Actually, let's back up a little bit. And wheat, let's grab five of that. So down to 41,000 liters. Uh, that's, I was expecting, okay, I was expecting that to stay there, and it didn't, so I couldn't count down. But we, we dumped in 52, and 55 of the other, I see. Okay, well, we'll go with that. So we'll make two trips. Canola and the potatoes, so just one trip. And uh, we may, we may to need to go over to the cattle and get the straw uh, shredder loaded up with some straw, which we have over there already, I believe. Okay. Are we 40 minutes into this already? Now, next question. Let's see. Let's G over to that one. And Q. Good. Can, does this fit this tractor? I think it does. Good. All right. Now, where am I? Out of the roof there. All right, 
let's get this going. But first of all, let's see. G out to that one. And then lift him up like so. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So I was going to advance time to the next morning after this episode. I think I will hold off on that. In fact, let's uh, hit 7 and slow time down to real time. And we'll spend one more episode finishing off uh, getting the, the water to the pigs, putting the straw out there, the uh, canola. We'll just deal with these two trailers this time. And then we'll have to call this one done. Now this is the big tractor. This is the warrior. We're struggling. Wow. Did not expect that. Not the biggest tractor, but the biggest we own. Which is a fairly significant uh, tractor. I didn't expect that. I was expecting 15 up that hill. And where to store this stuff? I mean, realistically, you don't want to just dump it out on the ground and leave it there. But I'm not going to get this easily into some kind of a, of a shed, am I? Well, let's go take a walk. We could, yeah, we could back them up into these, one trailer at a time. Put a pile against the back wall. Yeah, I like that. This is straw, isn't it? Yep, that's straw. So there's our bedding right there. Okay. Well, in that case, um, nope. Foot was on the pedal while I was walking. Okay, let's G out to that one and detach. And then G out to this one. Drop him down. Like so. So he's not going to hit the, the roof in there. And let's put this guy away. Pull my pedals back up under me. <laughs> All right, um, corn in the corner. That sounds perfect. And watch that roof there. How many times you're going to hit that thing? Oh, try the other one. There we go. It's always the opposite of the direction that I, I think I need to go. But then I'm thinking now, is this the opposite of what I need to go? So Because I always want to do the opposite of that. Or am I now doing the opposite of the opposite? And I can reason myself into not having a clue what I'm doing. So, um, I want to dump out the back. I want to say that was you. How did that work? Was it you? Was it I? I don't know. Alright, how do I change the direction? E. I'm not on the right thing. That's why it's not working. Right there. Alright, tip side, you. Back. That's where it was. Okay, tip side is back, and tip is Y. Oh, I'm never going to remember these controls. Unload here. Control I. Oh, because it's not a cell point. I see. Well, I would have scratched my head through uh, several buttons trying to figure that one out. Okay, that's done. Control I, F1, and repeat. Um, we'll take it up to this side over here. And I am on the correct one. So Q. And... Can I get around this tree? Kind of. Yeah, that works. Do that again. Now, before when I was recording this series, I was going to a lot of effort to clip out scenes, you know, long driving scenes, and and uh, trying to make it more uh, uh, more condensed. I'm not doing that anymore. That was just taking way too much editing time. So, just gonna. Show you what I've recorded. Let's see. Control I. Dump that. 
Well, I will put... No, nope, do it again. There we go. Put this away, and we'll grab a scoop of each one, dump it in there, and call this one finished. You do have to be careful about putting too much in. Make sure there's enough room for the other ingredients. Let's grab what was a. Let's see, right there. What was a bucket? The bucket was 18. Well, I'll tell you, it'll. I think it'll stop us if we get too much. I don't remember how that worked. Well, as I push down my pedal, it just keeps sliding up from under me. I'm playing in my socks, maybe that's part of it. I need to get down there with a maybe a screw up, a one by two to the floor. So this has something to press up against. It's too far away from the wall in front of my desk. I've got a almost three foot desk out in front of me, so a lot of room underneath to to, to deal with wiring and stuff under the desk. Whoops, too far. There we go. Now, how does it want to act here? Is it going to take it all? Take all of that. Seems like it filled it up to the top, though. Let's see if there is infinite room or how this works. Oops. In reality, you take it that fast around a corner and you know, spill all that food out. Oh, they know when the uh, when the food feed trough is full. That's for sure. All right, back up a little and see what it does. Okay, it accepted all that. Though I doubt anything has been updated. Well, it did accept it. Interesting. <clears throat> and same amount, but apparently we need twice as much corn. I wonder if that will alter when we add the other two in. Or if that will readjust. Hmm. So next time, water, straw, canola. See if the other two fields have uh, have gone to the next stage. And, uh, yeah. We'll just make it happen. So I'm going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.